going on y'all? This is Wei G here um, with Wei G Fishing. Before I start this video, um, make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Make sure you can check out my videos. I appreciate the subscribers like no other. Um, I want to thank you all for um, checking this video out. Um, but today's going to be a Tackle Tip Tuesday. And I'm going to kind of use this as a tackle review. Um, and also to go over things that I like to use and what situations. But today, I just got this package in the mail. I would show you the other side, but it's got my address on it. I don't want y'all to know where I live, but I'm going to open this up. I think it's from Aaron's Custom Tying. Um, shout out to Aaron Splan. Um, I went to high school with him, actually, and he ties beautiful jigs. And so I'm a big bass fisherman, so I looked at uh, more of the, the bass jigs. Um, and so I bought some leech jigs, um, some tungsten leech jigs is what they're called. Make sure I'll link them to below um, his website and everything. So make sure you go check him out um, and help him out as well. But here's the package. Um, I think this is a little sticker actually. Um, so it's Aaron's Custom Tying. Um, like I said, I'll link the website below. Um, he does a great job. Um, and they look beautiful, so I'll pull them out here. And give you guys a better look. So I ordered um, three of the tungsten um, jig heads. And they come like this on this little um, pallet here and then he also threw in one of these larger jig heads because he knows love bass fishing so but these are actually perfect so I'll give you a closer look here with my camera okay so here's a better look at these guys um, these are the ones that I purchased um, these are the tungsten leeches that he offers um, and these suckers look good they got the the tungsten head which is really shiny it gives it a little flare um, there's also a little purple tink, uh, uh, what is that called, tinsel, um, by the top there, which um, also gives it that leech, that purplish look that you want out of a leech. Um, and these, what I really like about these, and what kind of why I bought them, and what I expected is they can be used on a fly rod, they're, although they're a little heavy, I'm sure. Um, and I also fly fish, so this I can kind of relate to this, but they're also good, uh, heavy enough to use on a spinning rod, which... I probably will use just because um, in some of the spots on the river that I like to fish, it's pretty wooded and thick and it's hard to get a fly rod in there, although uh, an experienced fly angler I'm sure can do it. Um, but then he also um, threw in this one for me, which I deeply appreciate. Um, this one's a little heavier, a little bigger bass jig. Um, and so I think all four of these baits are going to work great. Obviously these are three the same over here, but they look beautiful. Um, the quality looks unmatched, honestly, and I hope they last. Um, but I'm going to take them out now and put them to the test. Um, but before I do that, I also want to mention, because I didn't do it earlier, um, is that Aaron's Custom Tying is not just um, bass-looking like lures here, streamers. Um, it's also flies for surfers, trout and such, and also, you know, different species. So it's a lot. It's basically more for fly, fly fishing as, you know, fly tying is usually. But these bass jigs um, can be used anywhere and so that's what I really like about these and that's my passion is bass fishing especially um, so we're gonna take these out right now and I'm gonna see you on the water and we're gonna put these suckers to the test and we're gonna see how they do and my bet is they catch fish and so that's what I'm hoping for and we'll see you out there There's a nice little crappie. On the, the leech jig by Aaron's Custom Tying. Little crappie. Yet another species. I know it's windy. Another one. A little rock bass. Thing catches them all. Big or small, catches them all. Ooh, 
there's a nicer one. A little largey. Look at that. There we go. Now we're talking. Right in the corner of the mouth. It's in there pretty good. I mean, not that this matters, but I haven't had to use the pliers yet, too. That's also cool. But there's a nice little bass. It's probably like close to a pound. And look, look at this thing. It's not tore up. It's caught, I don't know how many different species. I think it's four. The rock bass now. Kind of as a tackle tip here, guys, while the wind's calm. What I'm doing is just keep putting my rod tip up and reeling it really slow, so it doesn't so it doesn't hit the bottom and get caught on things because it is an open hook. So I'm just keeping it up. Ooh, I just had a bite. Probably a little bluegill. That's what it felt like. But but yeah, keeping the rod tip up so it swims nice. Give it a few pops if you want. Let that uh, skirt on the end of it flare up. There's another one. Another little rock bass. This thing catches them all, it's nuts. That is a nice gill. That's a keeper. We're going to keep him. We're going to do a little catch and cook here. That is a beautiful looking gill. Look at that. The leech jig hanging right on the side of the mouth. Hey, just add another species to the list on the leech jig. Nice little guy. Well, I'm just here to close up this video. Um, hope you enjoy watching some of the fish catches and seeing what this lure can do by Aaron's custom tying. Um, Aaron Splan, I'll link all of his information below so you can go right to the website and get you one. I'd highly recommend it. These things catch fish. I caught over six species um, of fish, which, I mean, for a first-time angler or for an experienced angler, is, is pretty awesome nonetheless. And that was just fishing off of a dock, so I can't imagine what this would do out on the boat or in the river, whatever. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below like the video help me out i also i'll link my um, apparel below i got hoodies and t-shirts you can buy um, in all sorts of different colors and sizes so thanks for watching again 
and I'll see you next time on Wagey Fishing. I'm out of here.